Trust your emerald heart. Be who you came here to be. Unlock your true potential. Hello and welcome to Trust Your Emerald Heart podcast. My name is Victoria Kshivinska, B-School Space. And today we're talking about the question of generosity and reprogramming the mind so that the collective has more generosity in life. And there will be a transmission for that. But before we embark on that journey, I want you to understand what is the collective. If we speak about general patterns in the society, in the minds, in the way people think, you can explore this topic deeper and you can understand that people in different parts of the world seem to have similar patterns of behavior, similar ways of thinking, and similar ways of reacting towards things. And this is so-called collective mind. And when we start kind of like waking up and understanding that, okay, this is not what I want. This is not good for me, for my family. I want a change to be taking place. We also understand that we have to work with the self, with the way you believe, with the way you act, but also you understand that it is for the highest good of all. And I always speak about highest and purest frequencies. You have to understand there are multiple frequencies available for all of us, and some are serving the self, yet some are for the highest good of all. It is a choice which frequencies to connect to and I'm inviting you to always connect to the highest and purest frequencies available for all of us so that together through the inner work we are doing through all the transformation we are coming through through all this that is happening we are reprogramming our mind We are working with the self, but we are anchoring it down for the highest good of all so that we can support others for the change. The same thing is about um, divine feminine energy, divine masculine. It's not going to take place if we do not anchor it down through ourselves. Within ourselves, it is the first change. Within ourselves is where we start the journey and generosity is a very important question actually uh, the question of money was sort of a taboo and then when it started opening up and people started understanding that okay there are more layers and levels to it to reprogram the mind I want the money and then the greed comes Many just want to act to get the money just for their own needs, to cover this, to cover that. Although sometimes it happens so that there are money blocks. And what are the money blocks? Something in the subconscious mind blocking the abundance coming your way. You can read my personal um, money blocks release story in the footnotes. And also there is... um, money shame release uh, breath work available if you are interested in reprogramming your mind so that you can open to a greater abundance although the money question is very complex there are multiple layers and levels because it includes the self-esteem the trust into your gifts and magic so to speak the ability to get out of the victim consciousness of the poverty mentality and remember the abundance of the soul which we all have and the abilities which we incarnated with for the highest mission in mind. Although when we are speaking about generosity and the generosity for the collective, the important thing is to understand that we are to work with the self. 
we are to balance giving and receiving we are to release the judgment we are to do something from within and then outside it will also take place uh, receive the transmission explore the footnotes and let me know how it lands and if you have any questions or need more support reach out I'm here and I'm available and we can work together in personal transmissions in individual work or in group settings depending on what is of your preference and I am excited about this because I believe that everyone deserves abundance when we attune to the nature's abundance we understand that there is much more available for us than our limited mind could possibly think and then when we release the shackles from the mind and attune to the heart and start acting from the heart but act for the highest good of all without judgment without expectations but through pure love different layers and levels of opportunities come our way and i hope you enjoy this transmission and find it beneficial today we are talking about generosity and how we work with greed and lack mentality for the collective consciousness of course we need to release the judgment and it's the only way to do that through the work with yourself we need to anchor the highest and purest frequencies and start living our life prioritizing changing the way we think watching the way we talk so that we anchor the prosperity we attune to the abundance of the nature we allow the flow of energy into our life so that we know and feel and understand the abundance the availability of the resources the love the purity the innocence the compassion and be open to give and receive generously please receive on the highest and purest frequencies i invite it into this space all other entities and beings i am kindly asking to respect the sacred space and leave ちょっとこと頑張っかたやたらかたやたらかたちょっとこと頑張っかたやたらかたやたらかたやたらかたやたらかたやたらかたやたらかたやたらかたやたらかたやたらかたやたらかたやたらかたやたらかたやたらかた
あーあーあらやこらかたんだあらやこたじゃたらかたいたあらやこととととろくととろくととろくとやかたじゃたらこんばかはたあらやこあらやこらことととととしゅくとんどかしゅくとんどかやことじゅととしゅくたやこらくたととととたい